teaches how to do the fascia iliaca block by recognizing this R glass pattern which is formed by sartorius internal oblique and the iliacus muscle. So how do you recognize this R glass? Start with your probe placed at anterior superior iliac spine pointing midway between the umbilicus and the zephy sternum and just slide your probe medially along the inguinal ligament till the time you recognize this pattern and once you see this R glass in which is formed by sartorius and internal oblique you can easily make out that the muscle underlying this R glass is the iliacus muscle and the fascia overlying this muscle is the fascia iliaca so the idea is as you could see from the previous picture that the needle passes in plane beneath the probe through the sartorius muscle as it is doing now till the time you feel a pop when it actually pierces the fascia iliaca. The other characteristic test is that just with one mil of local anesthetic you see a lens of local anesthetic appearing and with further injection you can see that it is just shelving off the muscle from its fascia and as the needle position is in such a way that you are pointing your needle towards the lumbar plexus and putting local anesthetic in iliacus you are basically flooding the lumbar plexus which is enclosed in the iliosoas complex and if you have a look at the trajectory of the needle there is no big nerve there are no big arteries that can be damaged by the needle which provides us a very safe and a reliable method of blocking all the three nerves of lumbar plexus it's a very important block but sh should be performed by all anesthetists and by all ED consultants as it provides a very good means of pain relief. I would normally use about 40 mils of local anesthetic which can be any mixture that you like but would, we would normally use quarter percent marking. If you have any more questions you can contact us at the above website. Thanks for looking. Bye.